Okay, we're gonna pick up with the law of sign. Um, class today. So, um, I'm gonna draw my triangle. I have A is equal to 12 degrees. B is equal to 95 degrees. My side A is 30 degrees. So, I'll write that as 12 degrees, 95 degrees, and my side A is 30 degrees. Out of my six scenarios for side angle side, angle side angle, what, which one do I have going on? Angle, angle, side. If it was this side right here, then it'd be angle, side, angle. But because the side's not included between, you got an angle, angle, side. And if you look at your decision tree uh, that you may see, you can see that <coughs> it tells you angle, angle, side. Just use the law of sine and one solution. No big deal. So, get rid of this. Solve the problem. Go away. Alright, so I'm going to set it up. The sine of what? Twelve divided by thirty is equal to the sine of ninety-five over b. Cross multiply thirty sine of ninety-five is equal to B sine of 12. So 30 sine of 95 divided by the sine of 12 is equal to B. Will my calculator be in degrees or radians? Degrees. Mine is probably in radians. Nope, it's in degrees. Alright. So 30 sine of 95. I have to close my parentheses. That's important. Divided by the sine of 12. Now I get 143.74. Seems like a big number, doesn't it? Why is it reasonable? It is the biggest angle because it's 95 degrees. So it should have a side larger than 30. If that was 12, that's really small. So Seems like that's reasonable. I like what I see. Alright. Can I then find angle C? How? Yep, 180 minus 95 minus 12. And I get 73. That was easy. Can I find side C? Yeah. Sine of? can choose either A or B in this scenario because we know both will be used. I'm going to choose 12 over 30 because I like the shape that I did before. Equals the sine of 73 over 30. I cross multiply. C sine of 12 is equal to 30 sine of 73. Divide by the sine of 12. equal to 30 sine of 73 divided by the sine of 12. Now if you don't have a calculator that uh, can do what mine does, just go ahead and just get a decimal for a sine of 73 and a decimal for the sine of 12. And I would say when I say a decimal, I would carry it out to like four decimal places. Okay. And then just do the rest after that. But uh, if mine handles that order of operations pretty well, so 30 and the sine of 73 divided by the sine of 12. next lesson we're supposed to do is, is by far the, the king out. I think that was a pretty competitive test. Now you don't really want to go home and beat them and have them do the hardest stuff.
off, right? We'll just forget it anyway, right? Let's take a nice peek. Maybe. Maybe we could actually do the Duda bus on the side of this thing. Which would be nice for that. I will see what I can do. But you gotta focus on this one, okay? All right, let's do this one, okay? Make my triangle A, B, C. I think a lot of you guys can do the one on the right, the left-hand side, but can you do the one on the right-hand side? It's a little bit more difficult. C is 80 degrees. B is 50. C is 60. Tell me, which of the six is this? Is it side angle side or is it side side angle? It does. Is the angle between the two sides? No, if the angle was there, then it would be between the two sides, and then it would be side angle side. But because the angle doesn't sit between the two sides, this is a side side angle problem. Very important that you see that in the record. Remember, yesterday we had the aha moment. We were like, oh, if it's Shin, it should have been Magellan. Okay, okay. So, thank you. We're good. Uh, so, what we'll do here is we'll figure it out now knowing it's side side angle. But, let me just show you the decision tree. We're not going to get to anything crazy today, but we will on Monday. Side side angle says that when we follow that line down, we have to look and see is the side opposite the angle longer than the other given side, or is the side opposite the angle shorter than the other given side? Let's look at it. Side opposite the angle, is that longer or shorter than that? It's longer. And so our decision tree tells us that if it's longer, Okay, it's just one solution. And I, a Emma can verify this, okay, because Emma sat through the class with some other kids. Um, would you agree that the college trick students got confused with this piece? Yeah, it's not easy, okay? So everybody struggles with that from time to time, and we'll just, uh, you know, we're, we're going to figure it out, though. That said, if you follow this decision tree, this is, uh, Emma, do you use this on the test? Yeah, okay? I would say that 90% of the people who took the college trick course, they followed this, okay? They liked following this map and seeing which one that they would use. So we want to use this. Right now, good news for us, there's one solution. So we're going to set up that law of sign and make it a go. Sign of what? 80 over 60 equals sign of B over 50. What's different about this problem compared to the one we did before? You're finding an angle. And if I find an angle, what, what operation do I have to use on my calculator? Yeah, that second sign thing, right? That's what I'll have to do. If I just multiply by 50, I get 50 sine of, or do you want to cross multiply? I'll just, I'll, I'll cross multiply. I'll keep it consistent. 60 sine of B is equal to 50 sine of 80. We divide by 60, we get sine of B equal to 50 sine of 80 over 60. I'm gonna actually make a decimal out of that so I can get an idea for what you have. 50 sine of 80 divided by 60. That my answer? What do I press? Sign inverse of that. Now on my calculator, have you seen this before? I can actually go second negative. And what that does is it it gives me A and S. What do you think A and S stands for? It, it takes the previous answer, so it will inverse that thing, which is kind of nice. That's our answer. I get 55.4. 
So what is that? What is 55.15? What is that up here? Angle B, 55.15. What can I do now? Angle A, because they all add up to 180, right? So we've got 180 minus Z, 55.5. get 44.85. Can you now find side A? How? What will you do? Use the law of sines, right? You go ahead. See if you can find side A on your own. I slowly set it up here and you can check your mistakes, right? Should that be my small side? Why? The smallest angle is A. Side C is my biggest, so that would figure itself. So, um, we did the first two, we did the last two, that leaves a total of eight problems. And I'm getting about 35 minutes to work on the rest of the assignment. And I will 